audio test tape number 22, Explosion. You will hear an audio script concerning a mission-related topic. This script will be followed by a conversation between two persons. This conversation will relate to the script. You will hear the tape only once. You will make notes of the script and of the conversation, and from these notes you will have been instructed either to answer ten questions or complete a written report of the incident. Good luck. On the 6th of May, 2003, at 11.30 hours, the duty officer of the Unmik Police Station No. 5 received an anonymous phone call that a bomb would be placed on the railroad between the 6th and the 7th of May. The caller did not reveal his identity and put the receiver on the phone. The duty officer immediately brought this information to the knowledge of the UNMIC station commander. The station commander decided to hold a meeting with his deputy and shift leaders. The meeting started the 6th of May at 12.45 hours. The members of the meeting agreed that the railroad stretches in the area of their responsibility up to 85 kilometers with four villages five train stations and nine bridges. Three bridges were over motorways and six over rivers. The station commander had 55 police officers at the police station and knew that this strength was not enough to provide security to the railroad, to the train, passengers and construction on this railroad. At 1400 hours, the station commander called the regional commander and informed him about his concerns. The regional commander declared an emergency situation in the region from 1500 hours on the 6th of May until 0900 hours on the 8th of May 2003. On the 6th, 7th and the morning of the 8th of May, the police were extremely busy checking the railroad, railway stations and bridges. On the 8th of May 2003 at 0900 hours, when all police units reported that no bomb threat was observed, the emergency situation was called off. On the 10th of May, at 02.35 hours, a man rushed into the police station number 5. He appeared to be a 47-year-old, grey-haired, slim-built taxi driver, driving a taxi with license plate number 359KS476, and stated that at 0200 hours he saw that the bridge over the motorway at grid reference 896496 was blown up. The duty officer called the railway station to stop the passenger train from going towards the bridge, but it was too late and the train was already on its way. The duty officer immediately sent a patrol car with police patrol to stop the train. There was one railroad crossing five kilometers before the bridge at grid reference 873485. The police patrol was on time and managed to stop the train at 0310 hours. Neither passengers nor engineers of the train were injured. The unmixed station commander with two police patrol teams, forensic group and the bomb clearing unit arrived to the blown bridge at 0345 hours. The bomb clearing unit found large blood spots on the bridge and stated that the criminals must have been severely injured by the explosion. The police patrol made a search around the area of the bridge and found two dead male bodies lying 15 meters from the bridge in the bushes. They were dressed in camouflage, both about 30 to 35 years old, 175 to 180 centimeters tall, with short black hair. No documents were found. The bodies were taken to the morgue for post-mortem examination. The fingerprints made by the forensics helped to identify two criminals, which were under the federal search since 1999. The case is under investigation. The following conversation is the dialogue between the police regional commander and the station commander. Regional commander, good morning. Thank you for coming. 
I asked you to come to put details of this incident together. Please tell me what happened on 6 of May in the morning. Station command. The duty officer of the police station number 5 received a telephone call on 6th of May 2003 at 11.30 hours that a bomb would be placed on the railroad between 6th and 7th of May. Did the caller identify himself? No, it was an anonymous phone call. What did you do then? I decided to hold a meeting with my deputy and shift leaders. What time did you start the meeting? The meeting started on 6th of May at 12.45 hours. What was the subject of the meeting? We agreed that the railroad stretches in the area of our responsibility up to 85 kilometers with four villages, five train stations and nine bridges. Please characterize these bridges. Three bridges over motorway and six over different rivers. How many police officers did you have at your police station when you came to know about this anonymous phone call? I had 55 officers. The strength was not enough to provide security to the railroad, to the train, passengers, and constructions on the railroad. Did you call regional headquarters about this? When the meeting was over, at 1400 hours, I called your office and informed you about my concerns. The emergency situation was declared in the region from 1500 hours, 6th of May, until 09 hours, 8th of May 2003. Did the police find anything strange these days? On 6th, 7th, and morning 8th of May, the police were extremely busy checking the railroad, railway stations and bridges. On 8th of May 2003, at 09 hours, when all police units reported that no bomb threat was observed, the emergency situation was called off. Now please tell me, when and how did you learn about the explosion? On 10th of May, at 02.35 hours, a man rushed into the police station. He appeared to be a 47-year-old, gray-haired, slim-built taxi driver. His taxi had license plate number 359KS476 and stated from going towards the bridge, but it was too late and the train was already on its way. Then he sent a police car with police patrol to stop the train. What time and where did the police stop the train? There was one railroad crossing five kilometers before the bridge at grid 873-485. The police patrol was on time and managed to stop the train at 03-10 hours. Was anyone injured? Hopefully, neither passengers nor engineers of the train were injured. Have you been at the scene yourself? I, myself, with two police patrol teams, forensic group, and the bomb clearing unit arrived at the blown bridge at 03.45 hours. What did you find at the scene? The bomb clearing unit found large blood spots on the bridge and stated that the criminals must have been severely injured by the explosion. The police patrols made a search around the area of the bridge and found two dead male bodies lying 15 meters from the bridge in the bushes. Please describe these bodies. 
They were dressed in camouflage, both about 30, 35 years old, slim built, between 175 and 180 centimeters tall, with short black hair. No documents were found. Did you identify these bodies? The bodies were taken to the morgue for post-mortem examination. The fingerprints made by the forensic helped to identify two criminals which were under the federal search since 1999. What is the status of the case? Still under investigation. Thank you for your briefing. Goodbye. Goodbye.